Hi everyone, and welcome to AutoGPT Tutorials channel. In this video, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about ShortGPT. ShortGPT is a new GitHub project that allows you to create YouTube shorts and videos using text prompts. It's based on the GPT 3.5 language model, and it's capable of generating high-quality text to video that is both informative and engaging. In this video, I'll show you how to install ShortGPT in your local system. I'll also show you how to use it to create YouTube shorts and videos. So if you're interested in learning more about ShortGPT, then I encourage you to watch this entire video. So, let's get start. First you go to ShortGPT project page on GitHub. Link available in the description. ShortGPT Experimental AI Framework for Automated Short Slash Video Content Creation Watch Showcase Demo Video for How to Use and Create Videos Introduction to ShortGPT ShortGPT is a powerful framework for automating content creation. It simplifies video creation, footage sourcing, voiceover synthesis, and editing tasks. Automated Editing Framework streamlines the video creation process with an LLM-oriented video editing language. Scripts and Prompts provides ready-to-use scripts and prompts for various LLM automated editing processes. VoiceOver slash content creation supports multiple languages including English United States, Spanish Spain, Arabic United Arab Emirates, French France, Polish Poland, German Germany, Italian Italy, and Portuguese Portugal. Caption generation automates the generation of video captions. Asset sourcing sources images and video footage from the internet, connecting with the web and Pexels API as necessary. Brain Memory and Persistency ensures long-term persistency of automated editing variables with TinyDB. How ShortGPT Works ShortGPT and ShortGPT Content Engines Manage short content, handle video contents and deal with Reddit contents and use Content Database for save, repeat and reuse your content. And use GPT Utils for automate editing with GPT, write scripts and create prompts for image creation and handle video queries. And editing frameworks for build and edit your video contents. API Utils, 11 labels handle voice creation, Bing Scraper find images and Pixels API collect source video footage. And ShortGPT use these all tools and create content for you. For example, generate script, generate voiceover audio, speed up voiceover, time captions, generate image search terms, generate image URLs, choose background music, choose background video, prepared background assets, prepared custom assets, Edit and render shorts. Add YouTube titles and description. So you use short GPT and create entire video content. You run short GPT directly in your Google Collab. Follow this link and run now. Follow these instructions and run now. But in this video, I will show you how to install in your system. Using these instructions, First you check prerequisites in your system. If you don't have Python in your system, then first install Python and Python Package Manager (pip). And if you have then move to installation process. So let's start first step, install ImageMagick. If you use window, then click this link and install now. OS I open this link.
And if you use Ubuntu slash Debian based systems, then use these command and install in your system. And if you use Mac OS, then use this command and install now. After install verify using this command. I move to my window installation link page. If you use Linux, then follow these binary release instructions. For Mac OS X binary release versions. For iOS binary release versions. For Windows binary release versions. I use window, so I install this version. All available Windows version. I install this version for my Windows 10 64-bit OS. But you choose any of version based upon your system. After download your file open and run and install in your system. But I already have this version in my system, so I cancel this process and move to next step. Next step install FFmpeg. If you use Windows then follow this link and install now. And if you use Mac OS then use this command and install now. And if you use Ubuntu slash Debian based systems then use this command and install now. After install verify your installation using this command. I use window, so I follow windows, download link and open now. I have four different options, first essentials, only 69.4 megabytes. And full version 132 megabytes. And two other option with full source code, so you download and unzip your code and install now. But I already install full version in my system. So I move to next step. Next step, clone the short GPT repository. So I move to my system and start my code editor. I use Visual Studio, so I open Visual Studio code editor, but if you use any other then open your code editor and open your terminal. Open a new command prompt. First, I will create a new Python virtual environment for my this project using Conda. Using this command, conda create name sort python equals 3.10.0 and enter now. I recommended use python 3.6 to 3.10 for this project. Otherwise you face lots of issue. Input Y for create your environment. Activate this environment using this command, so I copy and paste here. My new environment is activated. So let's move to GitHub and clone the repository. Copy this command and paste in your terminal.
Shot GPT repository installed in my system. Next, I move to short GPT folder using this command cd short GPT and enter now. After this, move to GitHub page for next step. Next step, install Python dependencies using this command, so I copy this command and paste in my terminal. After install all requirement dependencies, move to GitHub for next step. Run short gpt.py file for web user interface. Using this command, so I copy this command and paste in my terminal. Running on local URL, open this URL using control plus click and open in your browser. Short GPT runs successfully in my browser. First content automation tab. Second asset library and available background videos and last config tab so open this tab and set up your API keys. First set your OpenAI API key. So I move to my OpenAI account and create a new API key. View API key and create a new API key. Input API key name and copy new API key. And paste here. Next, create a new 11labs API key. Go to 11 Labs and create an account and login now. Go to your profile and click Profile tab and copy your API key and paste in your local host URL. Paste here and save your API keys. I save my API keys and move to Content Automation tab and start creating content. First you choose your desired automation task. Choose any option. First automate the creation of shorts. Second automate a video with stock assets. And last automate video translation. If you have any video then translate with different language. For example in this video I will same shorts using short GPT so I choose automate the creation of shorts. First input number of shorts. For example, I init four short videos. Next type of shorts generated. Reddit story shorts. Historical facts shorts. Scientific facts shorts. And custom facts shorts. So I choose custom shorts and input my short topic. I input AI facts and move to next. Next, you choose text to speech engine. You have two options, first 11 labs and second free edge TTS model. So I choose 11 labs. Next, you choose your video language. I choose English, but you choose any language. Next, you choose your 11 labs voice, so you check all voice on 11 labs and choose now. I choose Antony. Next choose number of images per shoots, so I choose medium, 10 image per shoots. Next add your video watermark, it's a option feature, but I choose this and input my channel name AutoGPT Tutorials. Next choose your background video. 
Ski Gameplay Minecraft Jumping Circuit and Car Race Gameplay So I choose Minecraft Jumping Circuit Next choose your background music Music DJ Quads Music Joachim Kara Dreams So I choose Music DJ Quads After complete your video content setting, run your process Your video creation process start, so wait few minutes for compete your videos. After 10 minutes something my video processing complete, my 4 video created successfully. So I download these videos using download video tabs. And watch now. AI facts you don't know. Humans and AI systems achieve their best results when working together. AI can generate virtual artworks that are nearly indistinguishable from those produced by human artists. AI algorithms can analyze medical imaging data to accurately detect diseases and assist doctors in diagnoses. While AI can automate many tasks, it still requires human guidance and oversight to ensure responsible decision-making. AI technology is constantly evolving and has the potential to revolutionize various industries, from transportation to healthcare. AI facts you don't know. Computers can predict your lifeline one millionth, could eventually take charge of research, and if Terminator isn't released in 2040, AI wouldn't too, and lastly read any CAPTCHAs humans can't. AI facts you don't know. Computer scientists have taught an artificial intelligence program to create original music. AI can also compose new hairstyles as seen in London Fashion Week. Some AI systems can even pick out objects in photos, animals, trees, house fronts. Whatever their sense of vision says, I belong in an image too. AI facts you don't know. The world's first AI-created masterpiece was sold for $432,500 at an auction. The artwork, titled Portrait of Edmund de Bellamy, was generated by a network of algorithms called Generative Adversarial Networks. Machine learning can predict heart attacks with 90% accuracy by analyzing retinal images. In Japan, robots are therapists for people with dementia, providing companionship and comfort. Through AI, doctors can now detect Alzheimer's disease decades before symptoms occur with an accuracy of 80%. AI systems can analyze human facial expressions to determine lying with 70% accuracy, surpassing humans themselves in detecting deception. Conclusion I hope this video has inspired you to learn more about ShortGPT and how to use it to create YouTube shorts and videos. This is a powerful tool that can help you create engaging and informative content. That's all for this video on ShortGPT. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. If you want to learn more about ShortGPT, I encourage you to check out the GitHub project page. Link available in the description. And, if you found this video helpful, please like and share it with your friends. And if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe our channel. Thank you for joining us on this AI journey, and we look forward to bringing you more engaging and informative content. Until our next video, stay curious, stay tech-savvy, and keep exploring the vast universe of AI.